What's up guys, welcome back. So a lot of people are concerned about Riot's anti-cheat system and that it's too invasive. So in this video, I'm going to explain exactly what it does as stated by Riot Arkham, a programmer and anti-cheat lead for Valorant, as well as show you how to disable it when you're not playing Valorant. So let's get right into the video. So the reason why this gained so much traction and popularity is because of a post by Dolphin Whacker, which said, Hi guys, I have played the game a little bit and it's fun, but there's one problem. The kernel anti-cheat driver VGK.sys starts when you're, you turn on your computer. To turn it off, I had to change the name of the driver file so it wouldn't load on restart. I don't know if this is intended or not. I am totally fine with the anti-cheat itself, but I don't really care for it running when I don't even have the game open. So right now I have got to change the sys file's name and back when I want to play and restart my computer. For comparison, BattleEye and Easy Anti-Cheat both load when you're opening the game and unload when you've closed it. If you'd like to see for yourself, open command and type SC query VGK. But that was the post. Now, later down on in the subreddit, Riot Arkham actually responded saying, yes, we run a driver at system startup. It doesn't scan anything unless the game is running. It's designed to take up a few system resources as possible and it doesn't communicate to our servers. You can remove it at any time. Vanguard contains a driver component called VGK.sys, similar to other anti-cheat systems. It's the reason why a reboot is required after installing. Vanguard doesn't consider the computer trusted unless the Vanguard driver is loaded at system startup. This part is less common for anti-cheat systems. This is good for stopping cheaters because a common way to bypass anti-cheat systems is to load cheats before the anti-cheat system starts and either modify the system components to maintain the cheat or to have the cheat tamper with the anti-cheat system as it loads. Running the driver at system startup time makes it significantly more difficult. We've tried to be very careful with the security of the driver. We've had multiple external security research teams review it for flaws. We don't want to accidentally decrease the security of the computer like other anti-cheat drivers have done in the past. We're also following a least privileged approach to the driver where the driver component does as little as possible for preferring to let the non-driver component do the majority of the work. Also, the non-driver component doesn't run unless the game is running. The Vanguard driver does not collect or send any information about your computer back to us. Any cheat detection scans will be run by the non-driver component only when the game is running. The Vanguard driver can be uninstalled at any time. It'll be Riot Vanguard in add remove programs and the driver component does not collect any information from your computer or communicate over the network at all. We think this is an important tool in our fight against cheaters but the important part is that we're also here so that the players can have a good experience with Valorant and if our security tools do more harm than good we will remove them and try something else. For now we think a run at boot time driver is the right choice. Based on the post I can definitely agree with the system that to catch a cheat you have to have something always running. However, at the same time, I don't like a piece of software having admin privileges to my PC at all times, even when I'm not playing the game. So let's go about disabling it. It's very simple. All you're going to want to do first is install Auto Run. The link is in the description and it's a Microsoft program. It's safe to download. Once you've installed it, open it up and go to services and wait for them to load. Once loaded, you will notice a service called VGC with the publisher being Riot Games. Go ahead and uncheck that box. Next, go up to the top and click the Drivers tab and wait for it to load again. This time you'll see a driver called VGK with the publisher being Riot Games again. Go ahead and uncheck that box too. I want to preface this by saying do not uncheck any other box within this driver list. You do not want to break your PC. Same for services. Services isn't as big as the drivers, but still, don't touch anything that you do not recognize. From here, go ahead and restart your PC just to make sure that no service or driver is still being run. After I restarted, I went ahead and just booted up Valorant to see what would happen and it gave me this error basically telling me to re-enable it and open it up again. So it's definitely off, so that's a good thing. The bad thing is, well now I can't play the game when I want to. So to re-enable it, all you're going to want to do is reverse the step before where you're going to run auto run, you're going to go to the services and you're just going to re-enable VGC and then you're going to go to drivers and you're just going to re-enable VGK and then you're going to restart your system. That's it. You'll be able to run Valorant again when it boots back up. But yeah, I know it's very annoying, but at least it gives you a peace of mind, so it is worth it. That's going to do it for this video. I'm a smaller channel, so any subs, likes, and comments greatly appreciated and will help me grow. Thank you so much for watching regardless, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.